Hello loves and welcome to a two-part kitchen update series. This is part one, accessories made easy for the kitchen. If you're like me, searching for that perfect accessory for your kitchen, looking in magazines or pinning those ideas from Pinterest just to achieve the perfect accessory, if it's such things as a perfect accessory. So I've learned to do things in freestyle. Stay tuned and I will share how I accessorize my kitchen. Before I take on an organization or a decorating project, the first thing I do with the room is remove and clean everything. Before we even put the first bobble in the room, we should declutter. So for the first step, declutter the countertops and anything that is out of place. Remove all outdated decor and accessories. I also remove everything out of any glass cabinets I have in the kitchen. Once everything is decluttered, I like to clean the kitchen at this time because it's a great time since everything is out of the way to clean it. So I clean it from top to bottom and give it a good scrubbing. Tip number two, adding task lighting. Lighting is the simplest accessory you can add that makes a big difference in any space. We will be installing several task lights under our cabinets. Installing these lights makes a big difference in appearance and decor. As an example, see how this sign kind of dulls out without the lights under the cabinet? Now look at it. Beautiful. You can see the detail in everything once the light is on. Tip number three, choosing attractive accessories. Most of you know my first rule in decorating or organizing is shop your home first. Many treasures can be found in the attic or in other rooms. Updating or refurbishing outdated decor is a great way to save money. Accessories can get expensive, but by adding a little paint on an old favorite, it can become one of your favorite accessories for a little money. Tip number four. Purchase accessories that's functional and attractive. The lotion and soap dispenser on your sink can be replaced with beautiful bottles and jars. Are you a tea drinker? A tea kettle is another great example. Purchase an attractive ceramic or stainless steel pot to keep out. It serves as a beautiful decor and is also functional. Another way to show your style and personality are kitchen canisters. They come in beautiful design and colors. If your family eats fruit on a daily basis, put your fruit in a beautiful bowl. If you don't like to leave your fruit out, use artificial fruit instead. And lastly, tip number five, create beautiful vignettes or groupings. This is my favorite part of decorating with accessories, creating beautiful groupings we call vignettes on kitchen counters and islands. Less is more, that's the advice I go by. Corral vignettes on trays instead of lining them against the wall. Add odd numbers to your vignettes. They're more appealing. Use various sizes and heights. So let's review. Tip one, declutter your space. Tip two, add task lighting. Tip three, Choose your accessories. Tip four, purchase accessory that's attractive and functional. Tip five, create beautiful vignettes or groupings on counters and island. Well, you're well on your way to a beautiful accessorized kitchen. So I'll see you in the next video, my friends. Smooches!